My name is Scott Drennan, I'm the VP of Innovation at Bell, and this is the Bell Nexus behind me. It is the heart and soul of our philosophy behind on-demand mobility, and to us on-demand mobility means moving both people and things from point A to point B in a more on-demand fashion. So you can imagine the Bell Nexus doing, say, an air taxi mission, as well as a logistics mission moving goods from distribution center to distribution center. The Bell Nexus is a VTOL aircraft, vertical takeoff and landing, but a powered lift so it can fly like an airplane. So it takes off like a helicopter, flies like an airplane, lands like a helicopter again. We have Bell at the lead with Safran as our hybrid electric propulsion provider. We have Talas as our fly-by-wire and software provider. Garmin for avionics and also the vehicle management computer. Moog for actuation and electric power systems, EPS, for our energy storage system and batteries. What we have is a six ducted fan aircraft. Um, the ducted fans allow the aircraft to be, one, have redundancy in the propulsion system, and two, be quieter than a traditional helicopter. One of the important things is, one, it's quieter, but two, it's a different tone of noise. So instead of the traditional helicopter sort of chop-chop, it's gonna be more like a whoosh that we think will, will blend better into the sounds of the city. So maintenance is really critical. A lot of times we talk about two types of cost, the acquisition cost and the direct operating cost. In a vehicle like this, the direct operating cost is much more important because we want to operate it 2,000 hours per year. And we're encouraged by the results when you start to talk about distributed propulsion. You can now, instead of doing high intensity maintenance on the aircraft that puts the aircraft down, you can do remove and replace actions on, say, electric motors, on battery packs, and that allows the aircraft to quickly get back in the air, serve our customers, and allows those parts to go back to the factory where they're most efficiently maintained. So we're targeting entry into service and certification in the mid-2020, so that's the 2025 to 2026 time frame. Um, obviously that means we're working very hard right now to get the first versions flying and, and uh, working closely with the FAA and other regulators to understand how exactly we'll certify it and bring it into operation. So right now the Nexus has a 4 plus 1 configuration where the plus 1 stands for the pilot, which we believe initially will be necessary for customer acceptance and so that we can fly the missions and determine how the autonomy needs to interface with other vehicles and with the communities that we fly in. But as soon as we gather that data and our customers feel more comfortable, we'll move into an autonomous vehicle. We're designing it autonomous from the get-go, and then we'll integrate in the pilot and manned features. It's an easier way to do it rather than starting from the manned features alone.